gusto po nila, they choose whom they like to marry. At kung ay nila, walang kasalan. Ganun lang po kasi yun sa'yo. Now, as we, as with all these hadith that has been presented to you po, this is, Islam has done a great service po to women. It is not only put an end to the absolute control of the fathers, but gave freedom, freedom, a personality and independence of thinking and opinion. So as you can all see po, ang Islam lang po nagbigay sa babae ng, ng freedom po na pumili, to choose what she wants, to refuse, and to run her affairs for herself, for her family, and for the society. It officially recognized her natural rights. Kasi po, ano po itong mga natural rights? There are two differences po between the steps taken by Islam at, at ano po ang dinidikta ng society natin na kadalasan sinusunod ng maraming tao ngayon. Now, what are these two differences? The first difference po concerns the psychology of man and woman. Itong psychology of man and woman, tatalakay po natin in our next episode. And the second difference is that Islam made the women aware of their rights and gave them an identity, personality, freedom, and independence. It is not to instigate them to revolt and harbor malice against male persons. So, Islam po nagbigay ng personalidad, ng freedom, ng kalayaan, at independence para sa mababae. At itong mga rights na to hindi ito binigay sa babae para kutsain ang malalaki. Hindi ibig sabihin na because Muslim women have the rights to have that, have that right, it doesn't mean na okay na pwedeng ay malalaki yung walang kwenta mga yan. No, that's not what the rights is all about. Islam identified these rights that was just perfect for women that identify po ano mga kailangan natin mga babae at doon binibigay ang mga rights na yun. So, kumbaga, tingnan natin, specially need po siya para sa ating mga girls. Okay? Because there's always this uh, problema po na yung equality daw, kailangan parem lang naman tayo mga babae, mga lalaki, kaya nila, kaya rin natin. No. In Islam, there is rights for women and there are rights those that are for men specifically po. Do not confuse both of these things. Because, bumalik po tayo. Isn't it that we are created with our very own parts? As women, we have our physical, our physical is unique. At yung malalaki, unique din sila. So, how can that be equal? It cannot be equal. However, it is fair. And that's where Islam comes in. And ito po. Now, going back. So, they say, in marriage po, during selection of marriage, why is it po, why fathers still play a major role po in choosing, uh, being, plays a major part in the selection of marriage for his daughter? Now, Islam states, the father's permission po, on the Islamic point of view, Yes, it is important. Of course, why? Kasi one, mahram po natin siya. That is our father. Sino pa nga ang most trusted nating male uh, person sa pamilya natin? We have to consult our father first. Now, the reason why, now this is the wisdom of Islam, bakit po natin kailang i-refer muna sa father natin with regards to this? Why we sh- the daughter and her father should talk about it? Now, fathers, mga tatay dyan, Please, this does not mean that I'm trying to explain the importance of a father in the choosing and the selection of marriage na pwedeng i-monopolize niya. No. You and your daughter should talk. Pag-usapan po ninyo, okay, may, profen- may potential candidate po dito. Okay siya. Okay ang Islam niya. He's practicing as his deen. He's a good Muslim man. But, so you and your daughter should talk. Mag-usap po kayo. Now, the father's presence there. Kaya siya kinoconsult because tatay siya. One, kilala niya ang anak niya. Two, lalaki siya. So, lalaki to. So, from men to men, alam niya anong iniisip ng lalaki. Okay? Alam niya ang psychology ng lalaki. Anak, medyo 
medyo hindi ko gusto yung ano niya hindi ko gusto yung medyo kilos niya medyo may nalaman akong ugali yan something only between men diba if you have to consult something about women sino lalapitan you will always approach your father so if you see that how Islam really takes care of the relationship between father and daughter yung trust and doon but it does not mean na porket kinoconsulta kayo ng anak nyo regarding a potential husband it does not mean mga tatay that you have absolute control no you and your daughter should talk talk about that man explain to your daughter the psychology of how a man thinks do not cut the right of your daughter no anak hindi ito gusto ko ito gusto ko hindi Besides, mga tatay, sino ba talaga magpapakasal? Di ba anak nyo? Di naman kayo eh. Okay. So, that is all for our topic for tonight with regarding selection. Inshallah, on our next episode, we will discuss on more about marriage and the psychology of marriage in Islam. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.